What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an Airlock Rayquaza team that also features Life Orb, Liberio, Cinderace. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way, helps you grow as a content creator, and it legit only takes two seconds of your guys' time. But let's get started here with today's team preview, considering I want to get after it and I want to get into the battles. We're starting off in that top left corner with Regilecki over here with Transistor ability, alongside with that Soul Fest as item. It's rocking Wild Charge, E-Web for two stab moves, and then it's got Bounce and Assurance for two coverage moves. So this Regilecki is definitely different from the mainstream Regilecki, so I cannot wait to use it. Get rocking with that Pokemon. Second Pokemon is going to be Zacian in that top right corner with Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword, but this isn't just like any normal Zacian. It's Quick Attack Zacian over here. So it has a first turn priority move, which could definitely come in clutch in certain situations. Other three moves are going to be Iron Head, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Slowbro over here with Oblivious and Leftovers. It's rocking Body Press, Iron Defense, Trick Room, and Slack Off. This Pokemon really reminds me of Ferrothorn, just a Trick Room Ferrothorn, because you know they're both Body Press and Iron Defense Pokemon, but this one is just rocking Trick Room. So we can set up Trick Room with this, or even counteract Trick Room with Slowbro. So I do like Slowbro as a nice little support mod and a defensive bulk. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Incineroar. Do I even have to say anything about it? Everything is fairly normal. It's Intimidate, Safety Goggles, and this moveset is probably like one of its most prominent movesets. Not going to say much about it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be Rayquaza. And I absolutely love using Rayquaza in ranked battles. It just seems so much fun. And I just like its typing. It's Dragon and Flying. It's got Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, Overheat, and Extreme Speed. And then it's got the Airlock ability to control weather and Focus Sash as its item. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Life Orb Black Bureau Cinderace. Gotta love this Pokemon. Hits like a truck and it can change its typing with its moves. It's got Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, you want to write this code for yourself? That's code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Liberio Cinderace and Rayquaza team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Stockataka Trick Room. I haven't seen this in forever, so I cannot wait to burst Stockataka again. He also has the Ice Rider Calyrex alongside with Kyogre, Coaching Rylou, and then Sableye. And what is that? P2 for support? I'm with that's a pretty cool Pokemon, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I might end up leading Slowbro. Maybe just popping an Iron Defense right off the rip? That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Popping an Iron Defense and getting rolling with that. I do like the good old uh, Defense Bolt for him. Let's do it. Let's lead Slowbro over here. And the next Pokemon I can lead with him could be Cinderace. Cinderace is not too bad of a lead. It's not too bad of a lead. Or I can lead a Pokemon like uh, Incineroar over here just to counteract Trick Room. It's really whatever I want. To do. He might actually lead a Stock Attack. Stock Attack is definitely a problem. But he has a bunch of physical attackers. So I feel like Intimidate could work out well, allowing us to set up this Iron Defense. And then we can just get rolling off. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there. I'm going to bring Zacian. And I just think we bring Rayquaza in the back end just because he has Airlock. And that can work wonders for us. So I do like it. Actually, do I even bring you? I might just bring... Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I should actually bring him. I should bring Incineroar. I don't know if I should lead Incineroar. Let's do it. Let's let's stop overthinking this. Let's just pick the team that we wanted to go with and we'll roll out with them and try to look, grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one even starts, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below what support Pokemon is your favorite to use in ranked battles. That's for question of the day. Considering there's so many different cool support mods, my favorite is Screen's Grimmsnarl. I just feel like there's a bunch of cool answers for that. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But yeah, I feel like if we can set up an iron defense right here, my Slowbro can be be beautiful here. He's gonna end up leading. Ooh, this is the one lead I didn't want to happen. The one lead I didn't want to happen. Um, I could swap the airlock here. I could definitely swap to the airlock here, or I could just fake out. But I think he might Dynamax, right? He could quash. Actually, no, he can't quash if we go for a fake out, which isn't too bad. I, I I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with just a fake out. Do so we think he's gonna Dynamax? I definitely want to pop this. And I'm still gonna go for the fake out here. I don't think he's going to Dynamax. Let's see what he does. Is Incineroar faster than Sableye? Because if Sableye is faster, he can fake me out first and then just pop, pop a, a Water Spout, which could be a problem. But I feel like we should be fine. I feel like if I could set up this defense bulk with my uh, with my Slowbro and then get rid of this Kyogre, we should be thriving in this battle. We should be thriving. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This guy has options. I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder what he's going to do. I just don't want him to Dynamax. I'm cool with probably anything except for Dynamax. He's not going to Dynamax. Beautiful. So Fake Out's going to poke out here. We're going to get that free flinch. What is this thing going for? He's going to go for the Fake Out. And he's going to Fake Out my Slowbro. How dare you? 
How dare you fake out my slow, bro? It's messed up, man. That's messed up. I could swap to the airlock now if I wanted to. Just iron defense up. Iron defense and swap or swap into the airlock. I don't with that, but then, hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I should protect. I should have parting shot that turn, but if I would have parting shot, would have done nothing. I really want to go into you. But now that I'm looking at it, like my Dynamax Pokemon is my Rayquaza. That's like my only Dynamax Pokemon. I mean, I could Dynamax in Sinor, but that's just not the play. Rayquaza is going to be your Dynamax Pokemon. So I don't want to hard swap into it. I might just let this, uh, I might just let this Incineroar go out here and try to get off a parting shot. We'll try, we'll try, but I think he's dead. He's gonna end up tricking me. And what's he gonna take? Do not take my leftovers. Give me my leftovers. Do not do me dirty. Do not take my leftovers. He gives me eject button. And he took my leftovers. How dare you? Water spouts do me dirty here. It's a big time turn for him. Yeah, Incineroar's gone. All right, that's it. I'm pulling out the big guns. I'm pulling out Rayquaza and Zacian. You made me do it. You made me do it. You made me do it. Now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. There goes my eject button. God dang it, dude. Not the leftovers. Are you really gonna take my leftovers like that? How dare you? How dare you? Airlock's gonna come out here. We're gonna neglect a lot of the weather effects. And we're gonna get rolling out from here. Yeah, I just couldn't allow myself to swap in the Rayquaza there and take a water spell. Even though it's gonna be not very effective. It's just like, dude, it's still gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage. And I want a Dynamax Rayquaza at full HP. So I'm with it. I'm with it. We're gonna bring out both these guys. And um, what should I do here? He could quash me. He could definitely quash me. But I feel like just going into here and then into a Wormwind. Doing as much damage as I possibly can. And then rolling into a Behemoth Blade in this slot. It's probably my play call, right? It's a solid little play call. It's not a bad play call. It's not bad. It's not bad. But yo, your boy Jeans. He was out late last night. <laughs> I was out on town with the guys. Having a good night. Got home at like maybe like 3 in the morning. And right now I'm recording at... 8 30 a.m so working off a little bit of sleep but you guys know i gotta bring that content here, guys. the grind doesn't stop the grind doesn't stop the grind doesn't stop so hopefully you guys do enjoy the content but uh we're gonna end up dynamax and rayquaza right here and he's gonna ally switch uh that's all right it's not a bad ally switch and he out oh this thing's choice this thing's choice all day and airlock's definitely helping us out tremendously airlock is definitely helping us out behemoth blade's gonna fly through here and that thing is choice he is choice. It's crazy. The Behemoth Blade is going to fly there. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. Should be able to soak, but again, he's choice, so it's not going to do as much the next turn. So, Wormwind's going to fly here, do some me damage there, and we just get rid of Save Lie like it's not. So that's a big time KO. It's a big time KO, and I still feel like we're thriving here. I still feel like we're thriving because he has like a Trick Rimish team in the back end. Right? He's going to have Calyrex come out here. And if Calyrex comes out here, I'm just going to take him out with uh, Zassian because Zassian has the Behemoth Blade, which can do a ridiculous amount of damage. And I, again, I, I think that uh, Kyogre's choice right now. So if he outspeeds, he's not going to be able to kill Zassian due to his HP being so low. So yeah, dude, I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're sitting. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I do not think we're sitting in a bad so spot. He might have Sakataka too, but again, they're all physical attackers. And just dropping Wormwinds with the Rayquaza can do us really, really well. We'll see who he goes into. We shall see. If I had to guess, he has Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Sakataka, but they're just guesses. They are just assumptions. <laughs> We're just assuming at this point. Let's see who he goes into. It's going to be Sakataka, and it's, yo, shiny Sakataka. Look at that thing. Gold. Love it. So I'm going to Worm one here. I'm going to get rid of you, and then at this point, I could just take a sword, which would probably be my best bet, but this thing could be weakness policy, but it's all good if it is. It's all good if it is. It is all good if it is. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We still have Slowbro in the back end, which isn't bad. I mean, Slowbro's not bad, but he might have a... He might have Trick Room on the stock attack. I'm guessing he does it, but is he going to try to pull it off before he Dynamaxes, or is he just going to straight up Dynamax? I think he's going to try to pull it off and then save his Dynamax. That would be the play. That would definitely be the play. Let's see, he's going to end up withdrawing you, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine. You're going to go into who? Rylu comes out here. Rylu comes out here. And this thing's rocking a Choppleberry. Wow. Choppleberry coming out here. Choppleberry saving this thing's life. And what is Sakataka going for? He's got to pop a Trick Room, right? He's got to pop a Trick Room. Wormwind's going to fly here. 
Do some nice damage on the right loop. Probably triggers focus dash. Yep. And now I can quick attack that if I want to. I could quick attack that. I could quick attack that. Attack is going to drop, which is beautiful. Sakataka is a physical attacker. And then this thing is just going to pop the trick. So trick him's out and about. Um, is that all of our turns? Or do we have one more turn left? We do have one more turn left in Dynamax. So one more turn left in Dynamax could be huge. Um, how many turns is, le is left in weather? That's a good question. So one, it is one. That's a little rough. Um, hmm. I could hail swim just to buff it out, but he's gonna Dynamax Sakataka here, right? He's gonna Dynamax Sakataka? What do I wanna do here? I'd rather get that attack drop. So, you know, I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna rock it through a Sacred Sword here. That's gonna be my play. He might coach up. We'll see. We'll see. He's gonna Dynamax Sakataka. It's coming down to this right here, right now. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. He's obviously gonna go first. Trick room's out. And you know what's really good? That uh that Kyogre's not gonna be able to thrive in Trick Room. That choice scarf for Kyogre's not gonna be able to thrive in Trick Room. But if I had to guess it's Rocket Thunder, and I don't think my slow broken one do one. I do not think it can. Let's see what he does. He's gonna end up coaching, so he's gonna get that defense boost. The attack's gonna go back to normal because we already dropped it with the Wormwind, and we're gonna drop it again here. And he's just gonna go for a rock ball into Rayquaza? That's gotta be in the Rayquaza. Oh, we love it. We love it. Yes, I knew Rayquaza could eat that up. Rayquaza soaks that up. Airlock's out and about, so Buffets are not going to pop. That's a huge turn for us. It's a huge turn for us, because Sacred Sword should be able to pick up the KO, right? And we drop his attack stat back to normal. So Wormwind's going to go over on this slot, take Rylu out, and then I'm guessing this Sacred Sword should be able to take him out. The Sacred Sword should be able to take him out. Toppleberry's gone. Sacred Sword comes across. And it picks up the big time KO. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big time KO. So airlock is still out on the field. So even if uh Kyra comes back out here, which he's gonna he's gonna do. His rain's not gonna do anything. And on top of that, we have uh Trick Room, which is benefiting us because that Pokemon is Choice Scarf. Because he was outspeeding my Zassian. There's no way Kyogre's outspeeding Zassian without what's it called? Without a Choice Scarf. Like Zassian's just way too fast. He's just way too fast. But we make a great call. Letting our Incineroar go down there early. Bringing out our Rayquaza. And Rayquaza just clutching up. Doing work all around. And able to soak up that Max Rock Ball. Due to the fact that uh, we were dropping that uh, that attack stats with the Max Worm win. But I'll go Sacred Sword. I'll go into a Draco Meteor. And I think our opponent just cancels the battle, right? Yep, he cancels the battle. And we start off 1-0. Second battle coming at you guys. We start off strong with a big fat victory. We're going up against a Groudon Sun Team with Ho-Oh. Dragapult, Grimmsnarl, Storm Drain, Gastrodon, and last but not least, he has P2. I definitely got to bring in Rayquaza just to counteract that weather. It works so good. That's why I absolutely love Rayquaza because Kyogre and Groudon are definitely like prominent Pokemon in the meta right now, and Airlock just really controls it. I just love it so much. So we're definitely going to be bringing in Rayquaza, and we're going to be rolling out from there. What other Pokemon should I go into, or how should I even lead it? I definitely want to roll in with Cinderace this battle. I feel like Cinderace could be solid, and I might want to lead Cinderace. Like Cinderace is just good all around. I could go Cinderace and Rayquaza, maybe Dynamax Rayquaza off the rip. Not too bad, because he has a he has a lot of physical attackers. He has a lot of physical attackers. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be my lead. I'm gonna bring Zassian in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Incineroar? Due to how many physical attackers he has? It's not bad. It's not a bad call. I mean Gastron he has. I mean, I feel like he could do some work, but Groudon could definitely do work on him. I think Incineroar's a call. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're swapping out Slowbro for Cinderace in battle number two. But uh, Slowbro, I feel like we could have had him set up well if he did not fake me out. And I'm super surprised he faked out the Slowbro. I mean, I guess he knew the speeds. So he's just like, okay, Incineroar is going to get off fake out regardless. So he just went for the Slowbro. But yeah, this is a jam. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, well, I don't even know what this is from. I can't even think. Is it Isle of Armor? That's a jam. It's a jam. I think it's like the dojo theme or something. Yeah, it's definitely dojo theme. It's jamming. He's going to go Grimmsnarl alongside with uh, Groudon. And at this point, uh, Drought's not going to do much. It's not going to do much. And I can change into my typing, which if I want to, I could change into something else. But I kind of don't want to change my typing. I kind of do not want to change my typing. I kind of just want to hailstorm here. And just get off as much damage as I possibly can. Who's faster? That's a real question. Who is faster? Is Rayquaza a bit faster? Because I would rather uh, keep the heat. Yeah. And the reason I'm asking who's faster is because uh, I'm going to change up weather here. 
and I want that uh, I want the drought damage with the Cinderace. So I want Cinderace to go first. Going to do. The Cinderace is going to go first, and then we're going to change up weather. So we're still going to get that drought boost. So we'll, we'll Dynamax to Rayquaza. We'll drop a Hailstorm. We'll get off some big time damage, and then we'll walk. And I wonder if he's going to Dynamax that uh, that Groudon, which he might do. He might Dynamax uh, Groudon. It's definitely a possibility here. Let's see if he's going to do it. He is. So he's going to get the Dynamax from there. Power Balls can come out hot. Um, I wonder if he's going to set up a Light Chain or a Reflect. Or he could fake out. But he's definitely going to take out my Cinderace. Unless he thinks I'm changing typing. Which I, if I had a flying move, I wasn't going to change typing. But I think Quake takes us out regardless. So even if we're fire, even if we're uh, dark, even if we're fighting, I think the ground, the max Quake would have taken us out. So it's not that big of a deal. He's going to set up a Reflect. That ain't too shabby. And then we're just going to get rid of this. Uh... Oh, wait. Airlock's in. So Power Ball, I should change up typing. I think airlock will affect us too and so it's not gonna do as much but so powerball doing a good chunk that's a good chunk of damage right there we show we're orbed he's probably going for the quake we're gonna drop this hailstorm buffets aren't gonna come out here but we're trying to chip up as much damage as we possibly can which i probably should have went into a warm one right should have went into the warm one for the attack drop but i was thinking maybe he doesn't dynamax so we could just do some massive damage to him so he's gonna go for the rockfall now is that going into uh i might keep Cinderace alive another turn no he's gonna take out Cinderace with that and that was a smart move to go into Rockfall, just in case we change our typing into, uh, into what's it called? Into Flying. So we did make the right call there going into the Rockfall, but I'm totally cool with that. Cinderace doing some big chunk damage onto that, uh, onto that Grimstarl. We have Dynamax out here, and now I can just bring out Incineroar and drop that physical attack and grab onto minus one. Unless he's White Herb. Which he might be. He might be Herbed. And then I can fake out the Grimstarl and drop a Worm one and just lower that thing's attack again. That could be solid for us. He could definitely be solid. And he's not herb. That's huge. That's huge. At this point, let's just fake out the Grimstarl. Fake out Grimstarl. Drop a Mormon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's run it. Let's run it. Run it up, baby. Run it up. And then I can parting shot next turn if I want to. I mean, Groudon could still do a huge chunk of damage. He could still do a huge chunk of damage here. Onto my Incineroar with a Quake. But we're going to drop its attack to uh, 1. Actually, to minus 2. Not 1. Minus 2. Let's go. It's a big time uh, Wormwind. I wish I would have went for a Wormwind last turn, but it's all good. Grimstar is going to get the attack drop too. He's going to drop a Rockfall. Is that going after Incineroar? I'm surprised he's going. He's doing that. I'm surprised he dropped a Rockfall. It's not stab. Still a huge chunk of damage. Um, what can I do from here? I could party shot because who else do you have in the back end? Who else do you have in the back end? Hmm. It's Ho Oh. He might have Dragapult. I think I'm going to party shot here. Save you for later. I can get rid of Grimstarl here. It's a screen stop setting up. Hmm. What do I do? Do I lower stats? What do I do here? That said heat, but like he wouldn't really benefit us. I guess we'll go for I guess we'll go for a flare. Flare will probably do the most damage. It's 140, so I'm just hoping they can take out this uh oh he's gonna thunder wave. How dare you? How dare you? He's gonna thunder wave me, paralyze me. That ain't too bad. He's gonna go for a rock fall. Incineroar should be able to eat that up. Again. Be nice. All right, you got that soak. Yeah, beautiful. So we can partner shot here. We'll save Incineroar for another turn. And Flare's gonna come out here. I'm surprised Rayquaza outspeeds that, uh. That, what's it called? That Incineroar. <laughs> I'm surprised while well, it's paralyzed. We changed the drought back. I mean, it's not doing anything because we have airlock out on the field. We're still sitting at full HP with Rayquaza. We have a focus dash. And now we're just gonna party shot out. And he's probably going to swap Groudon next turn, right? Probably going to swap Groudon next turn. But the huge part about this is we have Zassian. Zassian is, is the man. He is the man. But the problem with this is if he brings out Ho-Oh. Ho -Oh can do something. But at that point, I might just want to drop a Draco Meteor and double down into Ho-Oh. I'm not worried about this Groudon too much. Unless he miraculously gets a crit on me with a Blades. But yeah, if Ho-Oh comes out here, I think I got to double down. We gotta get straight after that thing. Draco Meteor, eat it. Even though Blade's gonna be not very effective, I just think we have to get straight after. Let's see who he goes into. It's gotta be Ho Oh, right? Because it's cool to be Ho Oh. I mean, maybe we can eat up a shot from Ho. I might just hard swap into. Uh, if he brings that Ho Oh, I might just hard swap into. Zassian could definitely come up clutch. He's gonna end up going into P2. Okay. I'm cool with him going into P2. 
I'm cool with him going in P2 because I do have a uh, Secret Sword. I do have Secret Sword. So Dynamax turns are over. I'd say that was that. That's a fine Dynamax set. Wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't like big KOs left and right. We each got one KO. He brought mines in and we're down to low health. But I just think we're we're doing fine here. I just think we're doing fine here because we have Secret Sword. We can chip up some big damage there. And then Ice Beam? Get some work done. Ice Beam can get some work done. So I, I wonder what P2's going for. P2's just chilling here. He's going to withdraw the route on you. I kind of saw that from my way. And ho is going to come out here, right? Yeah, ho is going to come out here. Maybe we can get off a freeze, but actually droughts out. Actually, airlock. Will airlock, like, stop the freezes? I don't know, but nice little damage from Sacred Sword. P2's rather bulky. Ice Beam's going to fly. And like I said, I think we got to just, like, double down the ho. Oh, we get the freeze. Let's go. Airlock, I love you. Frozen Bird. Frozen Bird. Trick him's out and about. Um... I gotta double down into him. We have airlock. We have airlock rolling. Uh, what would do more damage? I wonder. Sacred Sword, Behemoth Blade, or like Quick Attack? I think Behemoth Blade does the most. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get after this. Do I Draco Meteor? I don't know if I Draco Meteor. I'm gonna Draco Meteor, get off as much damage, and then maybe swap next turn. He's gonna recover, that's totally fine. I'm not worried about the P2. I'm worried about this Ho-Oh -Oh right here. This Ho-Oh -Oh is a problem. This Ho-Oh -Oh is a problem. Draco Meteor's gonna come out here. Paralyzed doing us good. How much damage are we chunking up on this thing? That's not bad. That's not bad. That is not bad damage. That's not bad damage. Ho -Oh, si oh Sacred Fire melts it. Wow. Zassian, can you eat that? You can. Let's go. Airlock clutching, dude. Airlock is clutching. Airlock is clutching. That is big time. That's big time. So we're going to be able to take out you. That's huge. Love it. And then from here, what do I do? Quick attack to get off as much damage as I can. And then hard swap that Rayquaza into Incineroar. Because I need Rayquaza if I'm going to do anything in this battle. I need Rayquaza. I'm going to need Rayquaza. He's going to go back into the Groudon. And at this point, I think I'm just going to quick attack that Groudon. Get off as much damage as I can. You know, we're not going to be able to get off a turn. And then he's just probably going to pick up the double kill. But I need my uh, special attack back. I need my special attack stat back. All day. So, yeah. Let's just swap the Rayquaza for the Incineroar. We're going to be paralyzed, but we still have Focus Ash. But that's so cool how Sacred Fire just melts freezes. I think that's such a cool thing. I really do think it's so cool. Even though it's kind of annoying because we did get lucky on the RNG. And, like, it didn't even do anything for us. But, like, Sacred Fire, that's just such a cool move. You can be frozen. It melts you right out of freeze. That's so dope. Quick attacks can come out here because, like I said, I want to chip up a little bit of damage before Zassian goes out here. And Ice Beam's going to fly, which uh, you might be able to eat up, Incineroar. Love it. Blades miss somebody? He's going to go for Rock Slide and Rock Slide connects. So it connects with the Rock Slide. Um, definitely want to go for the Ice Beam here into the Groudon. It's going to be close. I don't think we got this one. I don't think we got this one. We don't even have Protect. We can't waste out these Trick Room turns. And Ice Beam's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Right, Ice Beam's probably going to do at least half of my damage. It's four times super effective. Probably even more than that. Probably even more than that. Airlock's going to come out here. I'm going to have to hope that, like... I don't even know. I don't even know. P2's going to clutch up? Sure looks like it. It sure looks like it. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to protect the ground. I'm just dropping Ice Beam. But yeah, Ice Beam's going to do us dirty. And it looks like we're going to go one and one for today's video. Not a bad second battle, though. Definitely not a bad second battle. Definitely not a bad second battle. I'm trying to think of, like, where I went wrong. I mean, Cinderace went out a little too early. Cinderace would have been a great Pokemon up in this final situation. This high jump kick could just lay into this uh, P2. It could just dump on it one shot, no problem. I'm going to be paralyzed. I can't move. That's rough. <laughs> That's real rough. Foul play is going to come out here. Oh, this thing's going to foul play. He's going to foul play, which does a huge... It gets a crit. I was wondering why it did so much. Shadow... Wow, yo. Shadow Claw ground on. That's sick. That's going to do a nice little chunk. And that's going to be pretty much GG's. Our sunlight fades. Another foul play takes me out, right? How many turns left in Trick Room? That's why I wish I had Protect. It's got to be two, right? Oh, it's one. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Let's see how this one plays. Ice Beam's going to fly out here. And Rayquaza is slower than P2, which kind of stinks. And we finally get rid of Groudon. We finally get rid of this Groudon. Groudon's gone. He's out for the count. And P2's just going to go for the Ice Beam. Finally, I don't know why he didn't do that in the first place. And Ice Beam's just going to take me out. Yep, one on one for today's video. You guys know the deal. We're hopping into that third and final battle. We're getting you guys a winner.
third and final battle is coming at you guys and we got a weird one we're going up against a trick room team with no restricted mods definitely gonna be fun i definitely want to bring slow bro in here i'm gonna lead him and uh just get rolling with him i do like him here so i'm gonna lead the slow bro i'm gonna get buzzing with him and i might just end up leading the uh libero scenarios i do like that i do like that or i can end up leading a pokemon like zassian zassian doesn't work on a lot of different pokemon here a lot of different pokemon but do I lead him before Trick Room even comes out and just start teeing off on Pokemon? I like that. So I'm going to lead him and him. I'm going to bring Cinerace in the back end. And then I think we just bring Rayquaza. Right? Rayquaza ain't bad. He's got the first turn priority with the extreme speed. He can do a lot of damage on a lot of different of these Pokemon. But there's a lot of fairy too that I got to worry about. So maybe not you, Rayquaza. Maybe we'll go into a Pokemon like you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll rock out. We'll rock out with Reggie, dude. Reggie's just a man. But I'm going to try to counteract Trick Room. Maybe like first turn. Like pop a Trick Room with a Slowbro. He's probably gonna pop a trick room. Like his team is made for trick room. So I think if I could just counteract trick room, I'd get off multiple turns with Sassian and kind of just roll from there. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But yeah, I'm gonna get you guys a winning record here. I feel like I haven't got you guys a winning record in a little bit in a couple videos. So I think I think I think now's the time. I think now's the time. He's gonna go in with I, well, how do you pronounce that Pokemon? Aromatis? I think so. And then uh what is that? Galarian Corsola. Such a cool Pokemon. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. What's actually really cool why they made the Corsola uh, like that. It's ghost because it's dead and it's like awareness to play like pollution in the ocean and like what you're doing to like the coral reefs and all that. So I think it's a really cool like message that they're giving out with Corsola. But from here, I'm just gonna pop the trick room. I'm gonna try to counteract that and I'm just gonna behemoth blade over onto you. But he, I mean, Corsola can strength at me, but I just think trick room is gonna be popping out here. It's gonna protect. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Things gotta be focus ash then, right? It's gotta be focus ash. I hope it's focus ash. Because if not, I'm gonna be upset because I'm counteracting this uh, trick room here. It's gotta be focus ash. It is. Cool. Cool. So, watch this. He's gonna pop trick room. I'm gonna pop trick room. I'm not playing games. I told you I was gonna counter at turn one. He's probably like, wait, you're popping trick room? I'm popping trick room. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's one of my favorite things to do. Is to read the trick room call and just do that. One of my favorite things to do. I'll set up an iron defense here. And I'm just going to quick attack you. That's my play. That is my play. Even though I probably should have Behemoth Blade and then, uh, we're just going to ally switch. Okay. Does this thing have Trick Room? Does that little ghost have Trick Room? I hope not. Meteor Beam. <laughs> it's Power Herb. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. That's cool. I wonder who he's going after. It's gotta be Zassian. It has to be Zassian. You eat this Zassian? I don't know how much damage Corsola can do. That's a cool Pokemon. I'm gonna go after my slow, bro. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Iron Defense coming out. I would love to get off a of Slack off this turn. Honestly, would. Honestly, would love that. But yeah, I'm just gonna drop a Blade on that slot in case he wants to swap. Swap out. I'm gonna go for a slack off. And then I'm just gonna bleed. I mean, if he alley switches, he alley switches. It's fine. I'm just gonna rip into it. But yeah, I just can't allow him to pop off trick room. Cannot allow that. Not one bit. Alley switch is gonna come out here. That's fine. So he's gonna alley switch again. Um behemoth blading. I'm gonna get off some damage on that slot. Singing, so, yeah, I think Cursal is rather bulky, so he might be able to actually eat up the shot. Oh no, I haven't really used him since Asian's been in the game. Uh, I guess not. That's a great turn for us. That's a lovely turn for us. Oh, he perished body. God dang it. He perished body me. You little biscuit. But I'm going to slack off. I'm going to get some HP back. Look at that, yo. Good old slow bro coming in hot here. We get the slack off HP, and then more importantly, we get the leftover. Little half eaten apple doing us good. Leftover is so sick. I love leftover. It's one of my favorite items. Definitely one of my favorite items. Perish count's going to fall to three. Um, From here, I wonder who he's going to bring out. I wonder who he's going to bring out. Is another Pokemon that could set Trick Room? If it's a Rangaroo, I might Trick Room again. It is a Rangaroo. <laughs> I'm going to Trick Room again. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's just play. Trick Room. Actually, why don't... Why, why am I Trick Rooming? And I can just, like, do this. Actually, let's just do this. All right, we're boosting on defense. Let's go, uh, let's just body press you, take you out, and then just Behemoth Blade. I think we're thriving here. We still have Dynamax. Like, dude, we're looking real good here. He's going to ally switch. Okay. 
So he'll probably get off Trick Room here. I was going to counteract Trick Room again, but it's all good. Demon's Blade's going to fly. He's going to take him out. I should have. I should have. I should have counteracted Trick Room. Just went with my first. My first instinct was to just go Trick Room again with Slowbro and just counteract him. Because I knew a Rangaroo was is going to go for Trick Room. There's no doubt in my mind. But his Body Press can do a nice chunk of damage. But plus two on defense. We have the Iron Defense set up. Like, look at that, dude. It's beautiful damage. It's beautiful damage. And there's a Trick Room. But yeah, I, I should have countered Trick Room, but it's all good. It's all good. I figured Behemoth Blade could maybe take that Pokemon out. And then Body Press would just take out the uh, the other Pokemon. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't mind these turns. I mean, I have Quick Attack, and Slowbro is rather on the slower side. And as long as he doesn't... Yeah, he brings out Toad. Oh, my God. He brings out Toad. <laughs> He's going to have the Dynamax. Dynamax. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't bring out... What's it called? As long as he doesn't bring out Eruption Torkoal, my Zacian should be able to eat up a shot. So he's gonna bring out Togekiss. This is like a, a, a word, like the best matchup for Zacian. Zacian can light this Togekiss up. It Dynamaxes, it's over. Yeah, get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Can you instruct a Dynamax Pokemon? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. That'd be, I feel like that would be OP. But I feel like we should be fine here. Even if he does take out my Zacian in one shot. I think we're thriving. I do think we're thriving. We still have, we still have Cinderace in the back end. We still have Rayquaza. We're thriving here. Body press can come out of here, and that's just gonna take him out, yo. Trick room actually helping out my slow bro. Look at that, yo, dude. Slow bro with body press. Woo! Thing does some work. And it comes down to this. If he takes out, oh, that might take out my Zassian. Let's see. Can you eat that? You do not. Zassian goes down, down and out. And I think I'm just gonna Dynamax my what's it called? Oh, it gets a crit. Wow. I think I'm just gonna Dynamax my uh my Cinderace here and just drop a drop a fireball. Or G Max Fireball. That's definitely my play. And my Slowbro's chilling here. He's thriving. He's thriving, dude. Back up into the 200 for HP. Actually, not. 199. My fault, guys. <laughs> I could bring out him and make this easy, but I'd rather just go into my boy Cinderace because I, I want to use Cinderace. He's such a cool Pokemon. He's such a cool Pokemon. And we have this battle unlocked. It's going to be 2 and 1. And I told you guys we were grabbing ourselves a nice little winning record in this, in this video right here. But you know what? I'll pop a Trick Room just to counter it back. And I'm just going to drop a G Max Fireball. Drop a G Max Fireball. That's fine. That is fine. Because I wonder what Tokus is going to go for. I wonder what Tokus is going to for, go for. Because the thing is, if Tokus does not take out my Cinderace here, we're going to get off back to back turns. Because Tokus is going to go first. We're going to go with the G Max Fireball. Then we're going to counteract Trick Room back to normal so Cinderace is back faster. Then we're just going to throw another Fireball. So I think we should be fine. He has no super effective moves on to me. I think we're fine here. Let's see what he goes for. A Phantasm. Yeah. There you go. We soaked that up all night. Oh, you go after my Slowbro. How dare you? And my Slowbro eats because he's the best. Because he's the best. He Phantasms. He's going to drop her defense. That's fine. You're special attacking. And G-Max Fireball might even be able to one-hit KO this. That's some big damage. And in the heat. Oh, my God. That's a that's a huge chunk of damage. That's a huge chunk of damage. Slowbro is going to counteract Trick Room. We're going to take speed back. It's over with. GG. Two and one for today's video, and we grab that beautiful winning record. That beautiful winning record's coming out here. And my boy Slowbro survives. Loving this Slowbro. That Slowbro did some work. That nice little iron defense to counteract the on Trick Room. It was just beautiful. And I'll try to heal him up if I can. But I think our opponent just canceled the battle, right? He's going to cancel. Just cancel the battle. There it is. Two and one for today's video. Great set of battles for today's video, and we got to show off this team really, really well. We got Slowbro out there in that final battle. Got to use him a lot. We got Rayquaza, Cinderace, Incineroar, Zacian, and even Regilecki. I feel like I showcase every single Pokemon on this team, which is really, really cool. And I always like to do that in every video. But 2-1 for today's video. Grab yourself that winning record. You guys gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.